confidence in God's grace. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Hebrews 4.16 is a powerful invitation. It tells us that we can confidently approach God's throne of grace, not with fear or hesitation, but with boldness. Why is this important? Because many times, we may feel unworthy or afraid to come to God, especially when we've made mistakes or are struggling. But this verse reminds us that God is full of grace and mercy. He is not waiting to condemn us or turn us away. Instead, He invites us to come to Him, especially when we need help the most. Think about it this way. If you had a loving parent who always supported you, even when you made mistakes, you would feel safe going to them. You would know they're not there to judge or punish, but to guide you and lift you up. God is like that. He wants us to run to Him, knowing that His grace is enough to cover all our failures, weaknesses, and fears. Approaching God's throne of grace means that we don't have to hide our problems, pretend everything is okay, or fix ourselves before we come to Him. He already knows what we're going through, and He's ready to help. The beauty of this verse is that it shows us God's heart. He wants us to receive His mercy, meaning He forgives us when we mess up, and He wants to give us grace, which is His strength and help in every situation. So how do we live this out in our daily lives? First. We need to remember that God is always approachable. Whether you're going through a tough time or have sinned, you can come to God in prayer without hesitation. You don't need fancy words or perfect behavior, just come as you are. He's not asking for perfection, He's asking for honesty and trust. When you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or worried, remember this verse. Instead of trying to handle everything on your own, turn to God. Pray and ask Him for the mercy and grace that He promises to give. Maybe you're struggling with relationships, work, or personal issues. Whatever it is, God's throne is a place of help, not judgment. Another way to apply this is to stop beating yourself up when you make mistakes. We all fall short, but God's grace is bigger than our failures. So when you mess up, don't run away from God in shame. Instead, run to Him, knowing that He is ready to forgive and strengthen you. And finally, this verse reminds us that we don't have to face life's challenges alone. God's grace is available in every season. When you're facing decisions, trials, or even moments of doubt, approach Him with confidence, trusting that He's already prepared to give you the help you need. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your amazing grace and mercy. Help us to come to you confidently, trusting in your love and willingness to help us. Strengthen us in our time of need and remind us that we can always turn to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.